At its most basic, this subject begins with a single word, zoonosis. Zoonosis is an animal infection that's transmissible to humans. Sounds like a slightly technical word, an unfamiliar word, but it's going to become very familiar to people in the 21st century. 60% of the infectious diseases of humans are zoonotic. It includes AIDS, it includes all the influenzas, and it includes some nasty, peculiar new things, uh, like the infamous Ebola, and Marburg, and Nipah, and Hendra, SARS, West Nile fever, Lyme disease, all of these are zoonotic diseases. This kind of a pathogen can live in the animal host causing no disease, causing no symptoms. It lives there invisibly. It's like it hides there. Then when it spills over into another host, for instance humans, it causes a disease. We hear about West Nile fever in Texas. We hear about Ebola in Uganda, Ebola in the Congo. We hear about all these things around the world and there's a tendency to think that they're independent events. Bad luck here, bad luck there, things that are happening to us. What we need to understand, and this is one of the main thrusts of my book, is that these things don't just reflect bad luck happening to us. They reflect things that we're doing. We humans are now seven billion in population on this planet. We're using more and more of the resources. We're going into more and more of the wild places, uh, particularly tropical forests in Africa, Asia, South America. At the level of the citizen, at the level of you and me, what can we do? Well, the first important thing is to understand this subject better. And that's what this book is about. This book is not intended to make you more worried. This book is intended to explain the scientific principles and the human realities of this subject in a way that will allow you to judge what's coming at you from the media, from the newspapers, from the internet better and understand how we need to respond to this problem, the next big one, quickly and intelligently when it hits.